Question of the video, was Corey C better off when he left YouTube versus when he stayed on it? In Corey C's latest video, for those of you who do not know, he's back. I'll try to put a link in the description below. A lot of you have told me that he's been back, so I'm assuming everybody knows, but if you don't, you're gonna wanna sub him up. You're also gonna wanna sub up uh, our boy Raw Dog Letard. And if you can if you can throw a couple bones his way, the more videos he makes, the more I'm inspired, the more Corey's inspired, the more Zebra Shark's inspired, the more Chess Crit is inspired. So, inspired, ha <laughs> ha, Chess far from expired. Y'all need to check him out. He's got this beard that is just nuts. Um, uh, that's really cool stuff, man. That was, that was cool to see him on the feed, but that's the type of thing you get when the Doomer Sphere awakens. It's like the, the vampires in Underworld, all of a sudden the blood supply is going to them and they're just awakening and making these videos, which is a bad sign. I mean, it means that tough times are ahead. But at least the video content will be good. So speaking of tough times, a couple things happened. You know, along the time that a lot of people lost interest in, in silver and the doom and gloom was things began to get better. You know, there wasn't as much to talk about. So in, in the things that we were talking about, we kind of went over the went over the subject ad nauseum, if you will, uh, like the raw dog and Christianity and Corey C and Christianity. I mean, they went they went around the block on that topic. How much more are you going to say? Because when you guys are watching the circle, what you're watching is you're watching a bunch of friends kind of talking amongst themselves. We're not putting on a performance here. It's not the same as other YouTubers where we have it all worked out and we got it figured out by the algorithm what you guys want to hear. The end result of that genuineness is it ends up running its course in a way. Because, you know, when friends are talking about things, they don't just keep on arguing. We, we share our points, we get a little something from it, and we move right on. Corey's comeback, he had a Q&A video, and somebody mentioned a person, I think the, the person's name, I can't even remember it right now, but it's, it's along the lines of one of those Peter Schiff types, and, and Corey's like, I don't know who that is. Am I, am I better off knowing who that was and staying on YouTube and knowing these things, or better off doing the business? Our number one goal when we're when we're fathers or heads of households is to, to keep a roof over the heads of our family and keep food on that table. And we're better at doing that when we're focusing 100% of our attention towards that family. Now, there are times in our lives when we don't have as much work going on and we can, we can afford to put, you know, 30% towards YouTube, hanging out, talking about different things, chilling out with friends, but it's also the same as when you chill out with friends. If you spend all your time hanging out at the bar, you're not there for your family. So Corey C., in my opinion, you made the right choice, and the other gents, they made the right choices too. Things had run their course, and we're getting back around to it. There's a few things for us to talk about, and I think our audience is good. So let's see what we got going on, man. More videos to come, people. Again, check out Raw Doglet Tart. Uh, link for Raw Doglet on the top in the description, and then uh, link for Corey C below that. Catch you on the next one.